Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video I'm going to be taking a look at a game called Take On Mars. This is actually um, an early access game and I wouldn't even call it a game, it's actually um, a simulator of a mission to Mars where you are essentially planning a, a really complex mission to Mars and this is of course Mars with a very realistic map and um, you can essentially uh, plan everything and everything from you know designs of your uh, spacecraft to um, the actual components that will be landing on Mars and what's even cooler is that you can actually then play as one of the characters on Mars and basically build up a base and you know start a new life sort of thing but it's actually very realistic and it's from the same uh, developer as um, it's basically the same developer that released a game called Arma, uh, more recently Arma 3, and this is, uh, Arma 3 is a very, very famous military simulator, it's very, very realistic. So anyway, so let's stop talking and let me show you what this game is all about. Now, as a teacher that likes to use games in class, I think this would be, this would be a really awesome simulator to use um, in classes like Earth Sciences or even Physics or... Um, any other sciences, biology as well. There's a lot of really realistic stuff here, so I'm gonna start a new game just to show you what the um, uh, the actual space program is like, and this is essentially, this is how it starts. It shows you the uh, first, um, first probe on Mars. This is actually a Soviet probe, so everything here is in Russian. And this is what it, uh, it would kind of look like if you started a base on Mars as well, but it kind of simulates the uh, you know, this is a this is actually an ancient ancient probe from like in the 70s. Now here you have to open the probe, and then I think you have to actually try to take this out of this. Uh, I forget how to do that. I think you just have to. There we go. You have to release it, and now your job is to kind of move it a little bit and take like a, a sample or something. So this is a robot, and I'm I'm trying to move it right now. It only moves uh, forwards and backwards. And this is just essentially to kind of introduce you to the idea of, you know, mission to Mars. So you have to perform an analysis of soil and also move your rover for at least 15 seconds. So let's perform an analysis. And I think you perform analysis by doing uh, this. Maybe this. Or maybe this. That's a camera. There we go. That's it. Analyze soil. Don't move the instrument. And finished. All right. Perfect. Many years later. And this is essentially the mission control. So here you can, you know, build spacecraft, you can do research, you can have, there's a tech career here, you can actually focus on specific research, depending on what you want to achieve. And uh, it's actually very realistic. I mean, it uses a lot of the technology that we already have, and then some of the technology that we're still researching. And you can then um, try to plan your mission to Mars and launch your spacecraft, depending on depending on where you want to land and also what you want to launch. So there's also usually uh, a chance of failure depending on the situation. And so sometimes you'll actually be uh, not successful in your mission. And if you launch a manned, uh, manned probe, I mean, if basically you have actual astronauts and it fails, then you're in a lot of trouble. You're going to lose all your funding and it's actually going to be probably the end of your career. Now this is actually a lab where you can actually construct various um, vehicles and um, uh, probes that you can then launch to uh, to Mars and uh, right now I don't really have any parts so it's a very basic probe that I can launch and then I'll probably get some funding to launch it and also possibly some reward um, if I am successful uh, but essentially this is how the career mode works but um, I mean it, if I am using this in class I'm not going to be doing a career mode this is more of a uh, just for fun for for someone to play at home but um, in class what you can actually do is use some of the scenarios here and a lot of these scenarios you can actually access in multiplayer mode as well meaning that you can play as a whole class for example or basically with your friends and so here there's quite a lot of them available so there's actually a lot of uh, Mars based scenarios and also just space based scenarios so for example this one, this one right here um, you have a probe orbiting an asteroid and your job is to photograph uh, the actual asteroid so this is kind of similar to the to the Rosetta mission that was um, executed in late uh, 2014 and uh, if you're basically teaching about that particular mission this would be a really cool way of kind of exploring what it would be like if you actually you know controlling the probe around an asteroid let me just show you what it looks like all right so here we are we're in open space and I think this is actually very close to Mars uh, and I believe I can actually control this probe yeah there you go you can actually fly around 
and you have to try to get into position to take a good picture of this asteroid. Now, I don't remember how to take the actual picture. Okay, yeah, I'm not really good at controlling this, but it's very realistic. I mean, it uses Newtonian physics here, and you can essentially move around and try to position yourself for, for a really nice picture. Let me see if I can actually take it, maybe. Can I actually control this? No, I can't. Not from here. Here we go. Is that the instruments? Here we go. Here's the camera. I can maybe position myself and snap a shot. Can I snap a shot right now? Is that good enough? I don't know. Oh, hey, I can have some. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Excellent. I don't, I don't actually know if this is the right rock, if that's what I had to uh, take a picture of, but you can, you know, you can play around with this. You can also change your view. I think it's uh, with C button, which will actually show you uh, your, your craft from a different perspective. So this is what it actually looks like. Well, I'm going crazy here. Um, and because it's so realistic, it's actually, you know, it uses technology that we currently have. So you have to kind of be aware of, you know, things like fuel and potentially being destroyed by a rock. I think I, yeah, just like that. Yeah, not the best pilot in the world, but you know, this is kind of fun. Uh, so basically that's one of the oh wow yeah, that's one of the scenarios uh, the, the other scenarios are in um, basically you have orbit of earth you have uh, training facilities on earth and of course you have Mars so let's actually take a look at one of those and here we are on Mars so basically this is one of the manned mission on Mars uh, where you kind of already landed a lot of different whoa what's that a lot of different uh, equipment a lot of different um, even vessels and you have sort of like this survival area here with you know where you can kind of I guess breathe and re uh, Recharge your oxygen you can uh, because this game is so realistic You know you can actually drive these vehicles you can go to different places so I can actually get inside this and Try to control it By doing what I think I have to press this Yeah, there we go Here we go. So now I can actually drive this around and uh, if I'm trying to possibly do some research somewhere else, I can actually drive this vehicle to a different place and then, you know, bring some rocks for, um, for examination or whatever. Uh, the coolest thing, though, is not even this. Uh, I mean, this game is so realistic, it's crazy. So if I actually start r moving around a lot, start panicking, hyperventilating, my oxygen levels, which are shown to you right here in this, this uh, little box, you will see that it's actually... Uh, if I start jumping around, for example, uh, the oxygen suddenly is decreasing. I only have 22 minutes left because I, I am doing a lot of things. I'm, you know, I'm uh, very active. Whereas if you just stand and do nothing and kind of meditate, it will suddenly go up. It will go up to 23 minutes, 24 minutes and so on. Uh, the other cool thing is that it has a kind of a Minecraft component to it. So I can actually grab this object and I can then put it into this construction and essentially build rooms out of out of this um, it's a little bit tricky at first it does take a little bit of practice but okay totally did not work but here let's, let's just put it here I think this is a better spot for it or anywhere really put it anywhere let's put it here all right so after a little bit of struggle I finally found the sweet spot there we go we, we just attached this and I think this actually shouldn't have been there because there's going to be this part sticking out but basically this is how you can build different structures in this game and if you want to construct more of these building blocks you just go to this 3d printer which is also kind of a technology that's you know we currently are researching and may actually be soon available to us and uh, and construct whatever you want so this is actually not what I want I want a building block so let's just see if I can build another one of these platforms uh, all right a wall so it will take 10 seconds to construct and there it goes so just click on the construct button and it starts building a wall for you that you can then place and uh, make it into an actual habitation Okay, so there we go. We just build a wall and we're done with just like that. We can actually attach it to this area right here. Oh, I missed. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Perfect. And as you can see, this is essentially how you build various buildings in this game. Now, this is actually a really cool feature. I think this is actually something that when this game officially comes out finally and it's uh, no longer early access, this will make this game so much fun to play because this is 
the most realistic Minecraft experience you can imagine because you're essentially building on a different planet where, you know, there's like things like radiation, there's actually, you know, uh, there's a, um, a suit you have to wear and what I was gonna show you is this, where's my, ooh, whoa, okay. Not, not this at all, this is just a different filter that you can uh, use, but where's my, I'm looking for my inventory, where's my inventory? There you go, it's uh, M button. So I actually have a helmet and if I take it off, you can imagine that I'm not gonna last very long. I am basically going going to suffocate and die. So I need to I need to always wear a helmet. Um, and y you can actually run out of oxygen as well. So at some point you can, you know, you need to go and recharge your oxygen. Um, now, it took me a while to figure out how to do that because it's not actually explained to you right away in this game. Uh, but you can also just go inside the vehicle and just breathe air there. I think this one has a cabin inside. I'm not... A, oh, here we go. Is that it? I think so. Yeah, it says exit safe. So that means there's oxygen here. So I can actually just remove my helmet and breathe normal normal air in this vehicle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's also a mistake. I'm gonna break my leg. Yeah, it says damage. So I have just damaged my suit, I think, and possibly my foot. So yeah, there's also a realistic damage here. You do have to have, um, like, you actually have to have um, Medicare, and you have to, you know, uh, basically one one person can play a role of a doctor where they'll actually try to heal everyone else. And so if you are playing with many people, there's different roles you have to try to play uh, in order for everyone to kind of, you know, survive in this harsh environment. Excuse me, open door. Thank you. And we only have 12 minutes of oxygen left, so we have to go and try to recharge our... Uh, I think it's here, storage. Recharge our suit. There we go, so we're safe now. And we're gonna take this off and recharge our suit. Um, multivitamins here are basically to kind of replace food, because you do have to eat, you have to uh, drink. And a lot of this stuff is available to you by ordering it from back from Earth. So essentially, this game kind of replaces the, you know, the farming that we used to have in Minecraft by essentially, uh, here we go, we'll put the helmet here and this will recharge it, I think. I think that's how it's done. Hey, what happened to my... Did I just drop it by accident? I think I dropped my suit by accident. So yeah, essentially, this is how this game works. Uh, this is just this kind of a simple scenario that doesn't really show you all of the things that you can do in this game, but uh, this is the one where you can kind of start your base on Mars and try to build it up. I'm going to show you the one on the moon, it's also pretty cool, uh, because uh, for one on moon you can actually jump really, really high and it's kind of fun. So let's actually go to the moon. Alright, so we are on the moon, things are falling down, I don't even know what these are. Oh, I think that's water, there you go, that's water and vitamins, that's our food and sustenance right here. Uh, and we are on the moon, we just landed I think. And essentially what we have to do is try to get out and explore. Now this game actually has several different suits and this one I'm wearing right now uh, is much, much bulkier and much heavier, but it also gives me a lot more oxygen so I can actually uh, do an EVA or basically walk around outside um, a lot longer. So let's actually, oh, what's going on? Here we go. We're gonna go to the top of this capsule and essentially, this will allow us to jump down on the surface of the moon. So you can see the moon is actually a lot more atmospheric. It's a lot different, uh, a lot darker. Sun is a lot brighter, of course. And this does give you kind of an idea of how realistic or what kind of a sort of um, realism this game is going for. So gravity is much lower, but that's right. I th fell down and tumbled down and I just damaged my suit and possibly myself as well. Uh, so this is what the moon landing looks like. A lot different, a lot, uh, a lot slightly different atmosphere, but a lot more, um, I guess, dark and gloomy as it should be because there's no atmosphere here. There's also, I think there's some sort of vehicle right there that you can drive, and here as well. Uh, so yeah, so this game has some really, really cool features. I'm really, really looking forward to its final release. And with every update, they've actually been adding really cool scenarios. Uh, the one that has re recently been added is actually uh, an orbit around Earth. So kind of a international space station type of environment, except it's much smaller. So let me just show you what it looks like. And this is essentially it, so there's no gravity, you can actually fly around the spacecraft 
as you please. You can actually put on a different type of a uh, um, suit here. So I'm gonna put this bulky one just because it has, I think it actually has a jetpack as well. And uh, I'm gonna do something really unsafe and essentially just open the door. And it's actually telling me, danger, don't open the door. This is like space and danger, danger. Uh, but I'm not gonna listen to it. And as soon as you open the door, you can essentially go into space. Now the thing is, because this is space, you're, you know, there's, there's no atmosphere in there. You're kind of stuck here. You're basically, unless you have a jetpack, you won't be able to control yourself. So here I made a mistake of not looking up how to use a jetpack and the controlling yourself in space is pretty difficult. I've already actually lost my astronauts a few times when playing in the career mode and you can't even actually turn. It's actually very easy to uh, even turn yourself. So I'm gonna see if I can possibly reach this and just grab onto this. Can I grab onto this or am I gonna lost, be lost forever? Oh, okay, no, I think I'm gonna be lost forever. Can't reach it. Ah, uh, come on. Where's the jetpack button? No, that's not it. Okay, I, I think we're done for. Anyway, so yeah, that's what happens when you are... Uh, when you don't use the jetpack. You basically just go flipping around space. And this is the rest of your career in space here. So yeah, it's a, I think it's a really cool simulation of... Uh, space program of how difficult it is to execute, of how difficult it is to survive in space or on Mars and on the moon. And um, teachers that, or basically anyone who's, you know, wants to explore what it would be like and how realistic it is, this is actually a very perfect opportunity. The game is actually not very expensive, it's only about 20 bucks and it all, uh, often has sales. Uh, I bought it for about, I think, $8 uh, back in the day when it was still on sale and it does come back on sale quite, quite a lot. Uh, but I personally think this is actually, you know, the future of um, sandbox survival games because not only does it actually take a very realistic approach, but it also, you know, it gives you this kind of a doom and gloom survival uh, environment and at the same time provides quite a lot of opportunities to explore, uh, m you know, modern scientific research as well. There's also quite a lot of multiplayer missions, as you can see. So all of these missions you can play with other people. So for example, if you're a teacher uh, teaching Earth Sciences and you want to help your students explore different space missions, this is actually one of the better ways of doing this. Uh, and you know, like I said, they actually add quite a lot of new scenarios, pretty much um, every update. And the one that I kind of really enjoy playing nowadays is this one here. It's a Mars orbit station. So it's basically building a or after you have built a station around Mars. And essentially, just like in the other mission, you are you start inside a space station, but the thing is, uh, this is not Earth. There's a very limited amount of resources you have. You have to try to plan it out really, really well, and you know try not to kill yourself, essentially. Uh, so you can go inside the space station, you can actually explore different things here. Uh, I wanna get to that wall. Okay, let's, let's come back to the wall. Ah, come on, stop flying away from the wall and jump there we go i'm gonna turn this on this is a uh, station computer and here you can essentially read your email you can uh there's a map here there's different cameras that show you uh, hey that's me uh sh show you different um locations around the station and essentially you can kind of play through this or you can just fly around looking at mars this is a beautiful Mars as, as we know it. Uh, so yeah, this is actually probably one of my uh, favorite early access games, but also kind of a game that I kind of play just to relax. Oh, okay. Why did I die? Did I open a door by accident? Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, I started suffocating for some reason. But yeah, this is one of those games that I kind of play just to relax because it's, uh, you know, Unlike games like Kerbal Space Program, there's really no actual mission. You have to make your own missions. Um, you have to make your own kind of survival and existence here. And if you want to just build a base, you totally can. There's a bit of a Minecraft component to it. So, you know, it's, it combines the most fun parts from games like Minecraft with the most fun parts from games like Kerbal Space Program. But because it's still early access, it doesn't actually have that many features yet. So definitely uh, have to wait maybe a few years before they finally release it and it has all the awesome features that they've promised. Anyway, so this has been with the math with this really, really cool game called uh, Take on Mars. 
the game from Bohemia Interactive, and this is, like I said, the company that uh, made games like Arma, which are really famous for their re realism. So give this a try. It has, um, it also has mods, of course, which I haven't actually installed yet, but qu there's quite a lot of mods available, and multiplayer, which is actually something I'm really looking forward to because I I'd love to play this with different people. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully you will give this game a try, whether you are a teacher or just someone who loves space exploration, because this is one of the more realistic space games out there. Thank you for watching. Game you later, guys. Bye-bye.